So I think all this, you know, the corporate media is going to look for ways to basically declare Bernie dead. And I also want to point out a lot of this is based on manufacturing consent and also leaving out kind of important facts. I want to show you a clip from CNN today that makes that point. Here we go. King of Sanders, his campaign just released its latest fundraising total, bringing in $18 million in the last three months. So what does it all mean? Who better to explain than Iowa's favorite son, except he is not from Iowa? CNN's Jeff Zeleny joining me now. <laughs> Jeff, so many numbers, so little time. What do you make of it? Well, Kate, good morning. Uh, let's do some math here. Uh, the reality is for Bernie Sanders that $18 million he raised in the last uh, three months. Uh, yes, it's a very good number. It's a consistent number to what he raised in the first three months of the year. But it's slightly lower, it's $6 million lower than Pete Buttigieg's number that he released yesterday. So it shows that uh, Bernie Sanders is no longer leading the way in terms of fundraising. You know, Jeff Zelody. Ugh. You can see the access journalism just oozing out of that suit. So on the same day, as he said, Bernie Sanders raised $18 million in uh, April, June, and July of the, uh, excuse me, April, May, and June of this year, which is the second quarter, the second quarter of 2019. So what you have here, what you have here is basically they're comparing Bernie raising $18 million based on small dollar donations, which by the way, we have to continue to say it is absolutely historic and unprecedented for a candidate, I don't care if you're progressive, conservative, neoliberal, or an alien, to be raising tens of millions of dollars. Bernie Sanders' average donation for the second quarter, $18, and he raised $18 million. That is unprecedented. Compared to Pete Buttigieg, Pete Buttigieg raised... $24 million from 294,000 donors. His average donation was $47. $18, $47. So there's zero context provided. They just make it seem like, oh, Pete's more popular because he raised $24 million and Bernie raised $18 million. Not so much, though. Because when you look into it, uh, Mayor Pete's getting a lot of that money. Getting a lot of that money, get it, get it, guy. He's getting a lot of that money from the usual corporate oligarchy. And Jen helped me out with some great research on this. So, here we go. Mr. Buttigieg's fundraising hall indicates he has moved beyond the circle of LGBT donors who early in the race powered his bid as the first gay major presidential candidate. He has put together a wide-ranging donor base that looks more like the one Barack Obama used, Mr. I won't jail any bankers because Wall Street paid me off, when he stunned observers by keeping pace with and then eclipsing Hillary Clinton's fundraising at the outset of the OA campaign. They've got a badass operation. Rufus Gifford, what a name, the finance director for Mr. Obama's re-election campaign, said of Pete's campaign. During the second quarter, Mr. Buttigieg attended about 50 high-dollar fundraising events, for which ticket prices typically ran 2800 the maximum individual contribution allowed by federal law in the primary. But don't worry, he also had 20 grassroots fundraising events for which ticket prices started as low as $15. So what would you say? What would you say got Pete Buttigieg to, I'm not good at math, by the way. I, I failed 11th grade, uh, what was it, calculus? Yes, I failed 11th grade calculus. What's more, what gets you to $24 million more so? 50 fundraisers at an entrance fee of the max donation of $2,800 or 20 grassroots, grassroots fundraisers with the donation amount being, what was it, $15. Is it the 50 high dollar donors for $2,800 a pop? Or is it those small little grassroots? Because what's so amazing to me, it, I mean, it's deliberate. Jeff Zeleny is intentionally, you know, lying is also intentionally leaving out facts. That's also considered lying. Not only is Mayor Pete, not only is this CNN guy basically lying, he's just basically making it like apples to apples. Pete got 24 million and Bernie only got 18 million. So Bernie's falling. No, 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 no. Bernie had eight, uh, Average, average of $18 uh, dollars per donor, 
He also had 1 million total contributions in the second quarter. That's 1 million contributions in three months at an average of $18, meaning that's kind of a big deal. And as Bernie Sanders' senior advisor, don't you think it's kind of an important detail to mention of that $24 million, like he did 50 fundraisers at the max donation level of $2,800? Um, don't you think it's kind of an important detail to maybe mention that, okay, yeah, technically he raised more money, but it's because there was a lot of max donations. By the way, why this is important for the long run, and status quo is about the long run, not freaking out about the short term. Why it's important, and Bernie Sanders' campaign senior advisor, Jeff Weaver, brought it up today uh, on the press call that I was on this morning. Biden, Mayor Pete, Kamala, a lot of their money. I don't have the exact amount yet because the Federal Election Commission uh, deadline is July 15th. So they have till July 15th to submit their donor information. Then we'll start understanding how much, what's the percentage they got of max donations for smaller dollar donations. However, Senator Harris, Joe Biden, Mayor Pete, a lot of their donations come from max donations, meaning $2,800 which is good for them now, not good for them down the road, because those people can't donate again. If they could, if Kamala and Mayor Pete had a super PAC, yeah, they're, they're basically, there's only so many max donors to go around. And by the way, by the way, Mr. Mr. Buttigieg, who uh, CNN might as well be, how do I say this nicely? Blowing kisses to. Mr. Buttigieg, who that CNN anchor kind of left out that, oh, he's raising all this money because he's taking gobbles and gobbles of max donations from the usual suspects. Apparently, Wall Street's freaking out about middle class Joe. Wall Street's freaking out about uh, my time is up Joe, <laughs> which I still can't get over that he actually said that. The campaign ads hit, um, the campaign hit jobs uh, right themselves. Can't wait for those campaign ads. My time is up Joe Biden. Investors are pondering where to put their money this week after the sudden decline in the assessed value of presidential candidate Joe Biden. I love how this is written like presidential candidates are a commodity. You want to know why? Because they are. Because Wall Street, the hedge funders, the financiers, uh, the traders, they all buy off the politicians and the politicians are their commodity. This is facts. On Wall Street and in other corporate quarters where financiers were heavily interested in Biden, excuse me, heavily invested in Biden, hopes have eroded in recent days amid reduced investor confidence. <laughs> Some prominent donors began to openly question the wisdom of devoting more capital to the national marketing campaign for the former vice president. After the leading blue chip closed, they, they're literally writing this like a stock report because the candidates work for Wall Street. Mayor Pete is not, he's, he's more of a media manufacturing a media creation than an actual candidate with any substance. He doesn't even have any policies. This man literally said, I think my values are more important than policy. We'll get to the policy later. Kamala Harris is for the people, which basically is about as substantive as Hillary Clinton stronger together. Yeah, this is what's going to beat Donald Trump. And I'm attacked because Jordan is the first gay candidate. That's great. I don't care if he's gay. I care if he's for Medicare for all. I care if he's for free, free public college. I care if he's going to save the planet after it just came out today that June was the hottest month on earth. It is the hottest month on record on planet earth, June. You want Joe Biden's middle ground? You want Mayor Pete? I don't even know what his uh, climate change policy is. Same goes for Kamala Harris. Bernie Sanders has been leading on climate change. You have Pete Buttigieg basically being written about as a blue stock investment by Wall Street. Venture capitalists, hedge fund managers, powerful CEOs, and other wealthy individuals sensing a political emergency that may, requ may require swift and decisive action are moving to widen financing spigots for Kamala Harris. With contingency planning, there is elevated interest in Pete Buttigieg. One previous hot startup, Beto O'Rourke, is now considered to be too underperforming to warrant reinvestment. What's so amazing about this is this is cravenly corrupt. Cravenly corrupt. These Wall Street donors are not, are not 
investing in Kamala Harris because they think she's for the people. These Wall Street donors are investing in Kamala Harris because they know she's a bunch of hot air with a pretty face, a nice smile, and nothing but nothing to back it up. It's all branding. Oh, I'm I'm the best to prosecute prosecute the case against Donald Trump because she was a prosecutor. Well, wait till that prosecutor prosecutor record comes out because there's a lot of people in jail in California that shouldn't be in jail, but Kamala Harris fought to keep them in jail even after evidence came out that they were innocent. There's a lot of people in jail in California that should not be in jail, and she went after single mothers over truancy and questionable things related to not mandating uh, her police had body cameras statewide, but then she was taking credit for it on the debate stage, uh, being kind of uh, against legalizing marijuana, but for legalizing marijuana when it became in vogue. Not a great record. Not a great record, which is going to be exposed if she keeps moving up in the polls. It's also going to be exposed, and this is why I had a problem with Bernie Sanders not taking the gloves off. Bernie, go to a boxing match. I know you're 77, but do it slowly. Practice. You could do it without being a negative campaigner, but you got to take the gloves off. No one else is going to do it for you. Mayor Pete is also, besides the 50 high dollar fundraising events that CNN left out, he's also, he's getting a lot of that Hollywood money, which Hillary Clinton got, which Obama got, which Joe Biden was getting. Suddenly, Pete Buttigieg is the hottest ticket for Democratic donors in the 2020 contest. Entertainment moguls are fighting over who will host Hollywood fundraisers for the 37-year-old mayor of South Bend, Indiana. Democratic donors are showering him with praise, and he has been repeatedly selling out fundraisers across the U.S. Sounds like a teenage heartthrob uh, music star rather than a progressive politician. Whether the gay former military officer and Rhodes Scholar will be able to capitalize on his improbable star turn and build out a campaign with staying power remains to be seen. What is, indisu- what is indisputable, however, is donors are clamoring for more. Oh my God. Seriously, is this, a, is this a music, is this an entertainment star or are we covering a presidential campaign? The guy has no policies. Quote, he absolutely must be part of the conversation. I want to see him in the top tier, said Susie Tompkins Well a top Hillary Clinton donor who recently held an event for Buttigieg at a San Francisco yacht club, despite previous announcing her support for Kamala Harris. I'm very much supporting Kamala. I also extremely impressed, uh, impressed with Mayor Pete. I mean, we've done this before, ladies and gentlemen. We have done this to before. Do you think we're going to defeat Donald Trump, who, by the way, the Republicans just released in the third in the second quarter of 2019? The Republican Party raised over a hundred billion dollars towards Trump's reelection. Trump's raising serious cash. So is the Republican Party. Do you think do you really think we're going to defeat Donald Trump by running people having Wall Street fundraisers on yachts after what he did to Hillary Clinton in 2016? The definition of insanity is repeating the same thing over and over and over and over again and expecting a different result. Mayor Pete raised $24 million because he had 50 fundraisers where the entrance fee was $2,800. Kamala Harris is raising money hand over fist because she is bending over for Wall Street. I don't mean that in a crude way. I mean that in the way it is. She's bending over for Wall Street as is Joe Biden. I mean, there's no other way to say it. So the fact that Bernie Sanders is raising $18 million in three months at an average donation of $18, to me, is far more impressive than Mayor Pete and you know middle-class Joe and all these establishment candidates raising more than that by basically going on yachts or Kamala Harris is having fundraisers at the top of the managing director of Citigroup's penthouse on Fifth Avenue, or Mayor Pete is swapping sandwiches with hedge funders from Wall Street. This is all out there. You can find it. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Hop on over to statuscoup.com where you can sign up for our email list and become a member for as low as 5 to $10 a month. 
Membership is how we grow. That's statuscoup.com slash join. And remember, join our email list so we can grow the revolution with you.